Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Anger, depression, frustration, overwhelm, all those things are common terms we hear ourselves have in our own mind and sometimes we hear other people say that's what they're experiencing. The big thing is, is what do we really do about those and what are they really? What they are is a factor of the way we're viewing things and looking at things. And in these tune-ups, we've talked about something called the complex equivalency many times. Even in a recent tune-up, I talked about that. We have to realize as we are living our lives from the time we're born till right now, we're experiencing things at a breakneck speed, lightning fast, and also exclusive and different than anyone else on this earth. It's somewhat like 3D vision, what they call real D is one eye sees a reality. Even one inch or an inch and a half apart from the other eye, it sees a different reality. And when you bring both of those into perspective, you're seeing a whole different view. It's clearer, it has a deeper depth. Its perception is much different than each single eye view. In three-dimensional living, our thoughts are much, very much the same thing. We have to realize that we see things sometimes from a very single perspective because we've only experienced it one way. When we want to get along with someone else, we talk about that same experience and they view it differently. And sometimes that can create discord in our relationships or in our understanding or being understood by other people. To live three-dimensionally, we have to really be willing to step outside of ourself once in a while, literally, and just step over there and look back at ourself from a different perspective. Now, I know that sounds kind of strange. We call it first place dissociation. It's pretty easy to do. There's another term for it you hear us talk about. Just see it from another person's perspective. If you can learn to do that, what you're going to find is you're going to have 3D vision into your life. You're going to see things from a whole new perspective, even though it's still built upon your own complex equivalencies or your model of reality. By doing this, you're going to find yourself seeing things in a different way, understanding people better, even understanding yourself better. And overwhelm isn't going to be overwhelmed so much. It's going to just be you're looking at it from one way. And if you attempt to solve any problem just with one and only one solution, sometimes it's difficult to find that solution. If we can dissociate from ourselves just for a moment and step over there and look back at ourselves, we're going to start getting more feedback from our own mind with more resources to solve that very same problem with many new options. Give it a shot today. You might be surprised how well it works, and especially in relationships. If you're in a relationship and having an argument with someone, just step over there and look back at yourself talking to them and them talking to you. And you're going to see it from another person's perspective. And you always know armchair quarterbacking sometimes is easier than being in the game. It's really being your own armchair quarterback in real time in real D. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary. Thanking you for all of your feedback on these tune-ups. Tell someone else about them. Get people signed up. It's free, and I appreciate your support in this. Bye-bye.